Okay, hello everyone. So yesterday we had raised this question and uh, today we must go ahead and we must try how to solve this question. So I want to find the domain of this equation. So please write down how to do that. So what we can do is we can just try to solve this equation. So we will have two to the power X plus two to the power Y is given as two, right? Now, I must first go ahead and put y on one side and x is on the other side. So, let us try to do that. So, what will I get? 2 to the power y is equal to 2 minus 2 to the power x. Now, here is the trick. Tell me something. What do we know about exponential functions? We know that exponential functions are always positive. The left-hand side, if I look here, the left-hand side of this function is positive. Why? Because it is exponential. Right? So, please write down. Exponential, you should always write things down. That will make you remember things. Please make a separate copy for all these CUET questions. Write them down. Practice them. So, exponential function 2 to the power y is always positive. Right? Therefore, RHS must also be positive. So, what do we get? We get that 2 minus 2 to the power x is greater than 0. This implies 2 is greater than 2 to the power x. This implies 2 to the power 1 is greater than 2 to the power x. So, if I just compare this and this, what do I get? This implies 1 is greater than x or x is less than 1. So, what will your domain be? Your domain will be x is between minus infinity to 1. Okay, beta? This is going to be your domain. Is this clear to you? Acha, ab likho. Aaj ka question likho ek bari zara. Write it down. Please write down the question. Try to do this yourself now. So, the question for the day is you are given the function fx is equal to sine inverse x minus 3 by 2 minus log 4 minus x. Okay. You have to find domain of the function. Write down options A. x is between 5, 1 and 5. B. x is between 1 and 4. C, x is between 1 and 4, 1 included, and D, x is between 4 and 1. Take your time. Try to solve this question. We are asking what is the domain of this function. In the next class, I will go ahead and I will solve this question for you. Okay? All right. Thank you. Let's meet tomorrow.